what advice would you give to people who in their own healthcare system are thinking they would love to start a conversation about health equity and about racial bias um, in healthcare? What advice would you give them as to how to, how to go about this? Well, I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, um, maybe call you. But, I, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, no, I think a good rule, IHI's rule in general, is you start with yourself. You, know, you don't ask other people to do something you're not doing for yourself. And I think this uh, this point you've made so eloquently mm -hmm. about becoming self-aware, especially about the unconscious yeah. and, and uh, innate biases that are, that are there that we don't even realize. And I think that, is, that introspection, I guess I think it's on the critical path. So if I, if I were head of a large health system, I would say we're going to look first at ourselves and, sure. and understand this. And I think there are places and people that can help do that, but I think awareness matters and uh, I think that matters. Another that's very important to me that is part of the principles of quality is uh, the voice of the customer, the voice of the person right. you're trying to help. And I, I personally think giving, uh, helping um, people who are in positions uh, harmed by, by these latent inequities sure. need to speak and be heard. Mm -hmm. And uh, not pro forma, not in a focus group, not in a survey, not one at a time, but in mass. And I think I think when if that dialogue is real and sure. it's starting by the way with the board of trustees, Absolutely. this this belongs in the yeah. governance system, Absolutely. where the inquiry is really yes. authentic. Yeah. My 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 friend and mentor Paul Batalden uh, once drew for me a graph of the sequence of events for real change and improvement. Right. And the first box he drew was leadership curiosity, yeah. and I believe that. And I think if we want to re reverse um, this uh, injustice. We need leaders to become, I say, authentically yes. curious. Yes. We're not talking about ticking yeah. boxes here. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a real, it, maybe it's a personal transformation on that after. Mm -hmm. That's a big ask. Yes. That's a big ask because people yes. are very busy. But yes. I th I, I'm a scientist too, and I think then the question, if one is aware and one does care and one, one has heard, the, the legitimate question is, well, what, what might work? What could help here? And yeah. I think we need to turn to science. I think yes. we need to understand what, what's been shown, yes. what, what might work here, yeah. and put it, to, put it to use. Are there, you give one good example of, of uh, improvement science and a lesson you learned from it. Is there another lesson, any final lesson you would, might want to give us uh, from improvement science, how it might help address health inequities? Uh, learn from action. It, the, 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 um, we, we've been taught, we in Western society, and we've been taught you think and think and think and think and then act. No, <laughs> you, you think maybe, then you act, because the action produces knowledge on the basis of which improvement can occur. And I, I really think getting into, getting into change is important. That could be one patient, one person at, at a time, time. one yeah. person at a time. Yeah. Discover an episode of, yeah. of uh, racism at work, mm -hmm. an episode of inequity, fix that one, go, yeah. go at it and say, mm -hmm. what could we do with this, mm -hmm. you know, with this mm -hmm. particular person mm -hmm. and learn from that. So I'd say, moving quickly as we can to deeds, which then become informative for yeah. the future, is much more important than the yeah. next strategy meeting. Yeah. No, that is great. And, and I think w one of the good things is that there is such a mushrooming body of research on this very topic that is, in fact, pointing to, to steps that can be taken. So there, it, there's, many people are not aware of it, but there, there is an available science that, that may not answer every question, but provides the foundation for moving forward in, in very concrete ways. I, I hope so. That will raise the question of, of measurement and feedback yes, and knowledge. Absolutely. You have to learn as you go. And absolutely. I guess you would know more than me as to whether we could have or do have the, the ways once we do want yes. to have this as a goal to actually monitor yeah. the progress as we make it. Yes. I, I sometimes, when I talk about it, says we, we, we have a divine solution. And divine, D-E-V-I-N-E, -E, is the name of a, of a psychologist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison <laughs> who has come up with a model of, of a number of the strategies, some of which I talked about earlier, that actually work to reduce um, unconscious bias. And she has shown that she can take non-white individuals and, uh, from the community and get them motivated, one, and two, utilizing multiple strategies that followed over time is successful in reducing both explicit and implicit bias. That's great. And so there's evidence that, uh, and strategies of what can be done. I become a fan of Helen Reese's work at Harvard. <laughs> Helen's interested in can you teach empathy? Because you were yes. talking yes. earlier yes. about walking in someone's shoes. The answer is yes, you yes. can. Yes. So there, it, 
we're not we're not without some exactly. methods and approaches we, to try out. We know what, we where to, to start. Well. That's yeah. right.